struggling with debt, bills, loans, credit cards, need a way out? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt matters. This is Kun Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global, the matchroom gym here in Essex. Delighted to be joined by the gorilla, John Ryder, who's just had a haircut recently by the looks of it. Yeah, trim. The little girl told me it's a rascal haircut and I need to grow it, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going too well. Yeah, it's alright, John, it's alright. Um, John, you're in the same boat as a lot of people and you're awaiting fight news and you're being linked with about 20 different opponents, but you know, what can you tell us right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, just, just in the gym, keeping busy, um, getting connected to some good names and it's nice to be mentioned on these names, but um, as of yet, I'm still, still unsure. But, that is on the undercard of Dillian White's rematch with Lebeckin. We don't know where that's going to take place yet. We know it's going to be here, but we don't know where. So, speaking to Eddie Hearn the other day, he said that, you know, I said, what are the potential opponents for Cancel and Joe Saunders uh, if they're not going to fight each other this year, which is looking unlikely? He wants them to have a fight apiece. And, you were being linked with a fight with either of those two, and you know those guys very well because you fought them both. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm both well. I've also been, been to full insurance spar with Billy Joe, and we got on well. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, if a fight comes up, you put, you put friendship aside and you crack on his business. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd like both these rematches. I mean, yeah. Me and Billy Joe was a close fight the first time round. But um, I put the bit of my fit for teeth with the kind of fight because I feel like I was, I was totally robbed. I feel like. It was a little while ago now, but does that still play in your mind every day, that fight with Alan Smith? Listen, we're, we're near on a year down the line now. I mean, what we've covered and everything that's gone on, I mean, it's a, it's a distant memory, really, isn't it? So, but it's, it's fresh on a lot of people's minds because every time something gets posted, they're, they're, they're back on the case. But listen, uh, it's, it's up to me to, to progress with my career now and get the right fights and, and keep moving in the right direction to get another old title shot, and that's what I'll do. It's mad to think how long ago your fight with Billy Joe Saunders was. It was eight years ago, uh, your fight with Billy Joe. And, you know, Billy Joe, when he's asked who's given him the toughest fight of his career, he always points into the direction of yourself. Yeah, I mean, what was that? It was 2013, wasn't it? 12, was it, or 13? I think it was, yeah, 2000, 2013, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. 13. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, that seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? It seems like we've, both, we've all lived a separate life since then, but, I mean, nah, it's, um, he's gone on, he's, he's become a two-way world champion, so I take a lot of, I take a lot from that fight, yeah. I mean, down the line, you never know, but for, for the time being, we're, we're friends, we get along, and uh, long may it continue till, we, till it comes to time when we have to fight. When I was talking to your trainer, Tony C, uh, at Fight Camp last month, you know, he likes to have his rants about you and kind of put it out there, you know, why isn't people mentioning John Ryder's name, and I think he said to me every time he mentions your name to uh, Eddie with, like, Callum Smith or, or Billy Joe, Tony's words were he just walks away. <laughs> well, you know, Tony's going to be the fool in the side to Eddie for, for as long as it continues, and um, uh, that's why it's great having Tony in my corner. He'll, he'll, he'll be on Eddie's case the day in, day out. So the big fights will come, whether Eddie wants them to or not, I'm sure he'll, he'll do it just to shut Tony up at some point. But um, yeah, that's, that's why you've got to have the right people fighting the corner. Mm. You're also being linked with a fight with David Lemieux as well. Yeah, I think um, Eddie did mention that WBA would order that as another fine eliminator. Um, he was talking the other day, he said you are, it's hard to come by getting a fine eliminator in your career. And I think if I had two for the last fight, and um, if, if I get this, it'll be a third. So I'll, I'll be very fortunate. But yeah, I just want to stay active. I don't see that fight would happen this year. Um, so if I can get a good fight in, in the meantime, and just keep my name up there and have it at a fringe world level or a football world champion would be great. People need to obviously remember that you were scheduled to fight David Lemieux uh, last May um, for on the undercard of Canelo and Jacobs. But obviously that fell through. You still fought and you it was very impressive out in Las Vegas. But that fight should have already happened by now as well. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a bit, a bit of a... 
fight. Not a grudge match, but a fight that never was. So it'd be nice to eventually get on. Um, I mean, he's, he's not really done much since, has he? I know he fought Max Bursak in a, in a hard fought fight and he's down on the canvas. But I mean, I, I, I don't see it going back over old ground. It never happened. Uh, so it'd be nice to get on with him. Mm. Um, and more recently, Danny Jacobs uh, being linked with a fight. I think I saw some comments uh, or reports that the zone quite like you as an opponent uh, ahead of their scheduled UK launch at some point this year. So Jacob's a huge name as well. Yeah, I mean, that's like I say, it's great to be connected with these names. And um, listen, like I say, Roman says we'll fight anyone. Um, if this fight comes off, happy days. I just don't, at the moment, with the restrictions and everything, I can't really see it happening and me going out to the States. And I definitely don't think Jacob's going to be over here. So, um, it seems like the glue holding a lot of fighters together at the minute and finding out what he wants to do is, is the Canelo situation obviously everyone was kind of waiting he was being linked with a whole host of names a lot of UK names as well but people were waiting to see and rightly so what he was doing before they can kind of then map out what they were doing and that's kind of an effect on what you're doing as well yeah, massively, because I mean, start of the year, it was like, will it be Billy Joel and Callum, and then and that put that perfect on hold, then coronavirus come about, and so that, that put everything on the back burner, then it come about that he was going to fight, and Billy Joel wouldn't be ready, short notice, turn around, and we, we threw our name into the mix, but um, nothing materialised, and that, that day's been and gone, so um, I mean, I don't think he's going to be out this year, we've gone with legals, but... Um, yeah, it really is just holding up proceedings, isn't it? I mean, that WBC title has come up now. And, I mean, will, will him, him against... Um, Yildrim. Yildrim come... Uh, will it, <coughs> I don't know. I don't think the zone want to show it. Um, don't think WBC will order him against... So, you never know. No, boxing's a, a mad sport. <laughs> you, you actually know, but, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a situation that kind of surprised everyone, but kind of made everyone look up and say... Um, Got a lawsuit against the zone and, and De La Hoya and Golden Boy and what have you made of all that? Why has he got a lawsuit against De La Hoya and Golden Boy? What's, is that not just the same thing? Must like, be two different entities. Yeah, I mean, just to hear, just say everything he's got, eh? But um, yeah, I don't know. Is, is it going to be? Is he pissing the wind of it? I'm sure he's got some case there and he'll get something out of it. But, um, just a shame, do you know what I mean? Because it is really holding up the proceedings. And, and as, as fans as well, we all want to see Canelo fight and fight the best. So, I mean, we're, we're not going to see Canelo this year. So. Yeah, it's a lot of implications what he does to a lot of fighters, especially the ones that kind of are waiting to see. You've got Billy Joe and Callum Smith still thinking if he fights towards the end of the year, it could be them. And, yeah. you know, they have been the front runners for the last few months. But what happens in this situation? And once this is resolved with his legal situation, we just don't know. No, of course. And, I mean, we'll, will it be hard to have a working relationship with the zone after this, wouldn't it, if he does sell them? So will he move to a, another promotion? Will he cut ties with the other like will it make the fights impossible then to make with these fighters you just don't know do you it's, it's, it's a sad situation really mm. politics of boxing John yeah I know I thought it was bad enough being an Arsenal fan talking to a Spurs fan but uh, this is just something else you just reminded me that Gareth Bale is just going to be announced as uh, all re-signing for Tottenham soon which is great obviously for us uh, it'll be great for the Spurs fans that we are uh, breaking there won't they? I don't blame them to be honest with you because Bale coming back there is quite a big move and a good move from Spurs, so it is what it is. No, it's a massive move and fair play to him. I mean, he's, he's gone away, he's gone abroad and he's proved his point that he deserved to play for bigger and better teams and win trophies and he's done it, so good on him coming back home. Yeah, it's like leaving a girlfriend for a fitter girlfriend and then <laughs> at, being with her for a few years and think, oh, I'll just go back to her, that kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, all right, John. Well, listen, I know you uh, are on your way home, so uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some fight news for you soon. I said we, as in I'm going to be telling you your fight news, but you know what I mean. Well, I'm sure you'll be yeah. in the know, or you'll be there fight week. So yeah, so it's we, us. We're all one, aren't we? Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. We'll hope you get some news sooner rather than later, anyway. So about time you kind of yeah 
got a shot again. Yeah, I mean, um, I had a lot of momentum last year, so some good, some bad, but I just wanted to start 2020 with um, all that 2020 vision stuff, you know what I mean? This, this year's going to be my year. Um, and it messed up all last, didn't it? So it'd be nice to, to end the year on a high and crack on for 2021. I'll certainly echo those thoughts. John Ryder, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, hopefully we'll catch you again soon. Cheers, Google. Thank you. Struggling with debt? Bills? Loans? Credit cards? Need a way out? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt matters.